it's been said that posterity will remember us as the people who are always either sitting around the table and eating or sitting around the table and speaking, talking, or a combination thereof. But that's the way it seems to be, and that's the way it probably will be. But here we are on the second day of our October vacation in New Jersey, and let's pick up on what's happening. He's got to keep traveling. He wants to really get his... No, so that's what I mean. Between the time he's away and the fact that he comes up here and we see him here, I don't feel, you know... Well, it's burnt. It's burnt. It's just well, Jerry can have it. Jerry only has Jerry. Jerry likes burnt. That 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 likes <laughs> oh, those are good. You know how many weeks go by before I eat a bagel? Is that how funny is the way you tighten them, I say? It's, uh, it's hard to, to uh, tell. It helps well, tighten them a little, little bit. bit. Do it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but then see that I get pressure. Well, then don't here. tighten it back here. What you do is you bend pressure. it here, then. You see how I have mine bent here? Well, I, all don't I know is they've been sliding down my nose. Well, that's then what I do. I go to read and look at it. I get yeah. the line. That's what I do. It's very If the pressure is back there, then loosen it back there and tighten it in here, and it'll still bring it in, but it won't be behind your ear. Yeah, yeah it'll be up oh, here. I is it bothering you now? Time. No, right at the moment. Oh, this is got to go. He's going to have a picture of you going. And Nicholas, Nicholas. Did you ever see, pear? Did you ever see round pears? Look at that. Oh, I've never seen round pears. It was Japanese. Cherry brood, Japanese. Fruit. Round pears. Stu Davis. Stu Davis gave them to me. Oh. You want to give Stu Davis a call and he goes through Phyllis Ray? Yeah, look at that. Yeah, he might. Go to bed on bottom. Here. Eat it on the top. I'll give you his home phone number if you want to. No. Hey, you're not in the picture. Well, I'm always in the picture. They're a sweeter, different taste. They're very different. Does he grow those uh, pears or what? Right in the backyard. Oh. No. Thanks. Well, you know, when well, I have my car phone. I hand it to you for the benefit of the picture. Yeah, well, wait till yeah. we, uh, we're getting the glitches out right now. <laughs> All right. Now, this is called a round pear. No, it's yeah. an oriental pear. Does he call it an oriental pear? Well, some of those orientals have a nice pear. <laughs> Stu Davis. Ex. Uh, oh, from Stu Davis. Stu Davis is the ex. Also, uh, also. You know, this pear has a unique oriental flavor. It almost, I can almost smell the rice <laughs> and the soy sauce <laughs> so when I eat this. Uh, he's, the ex, he's the ex public safety director for Alpha, New Jersey. Oh, yeah. Bonnie, now you found something that you brought over. There's a telephone message, message on there, Trudy. It's What's flashing. That? There's a telephone message. Flash? Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. Really very delicious. This is just yeah. great. Well, here, please eat them. If you eat this, you'll be a regular guy. The Chinese really do counteract the effects of the rice. Yeah, well, don't eat them. Here, wait, I got a better one. Here's one. But he I'm says, Bunny doesn't tell you that she's just trying to get rid of this stuff, that's all. Of course. <laughs> well, she can try my refrigerator out, we can have a party. I think, uh, I think they've seen enough of me, I'll edit it out anyhow. No, wait a minute. Ah, uh, come on, here. here. <laughs> I mean, this is something, this is great, uh, video. Uh, to, to have, it's great video to see Sid eating. It's great video. Yeah. You don't get oh, a chance Sid for that. He's a bagel head. I am a bagel head. We're going to have to go buy some bagels so he can live up to his name. And we did stop at the Bagel Smith, Phillipsburg, New Jersey, and we bought bagels so I could live up to my name. And that's what we're doing now. We're kind of bringing the bagels to Washington, New Jersey on a very, very beautiful autumn afternoon. And what's happening now is Dave Kleiner, number one son, has taken over the camcorder and I'm showing him how to use it. And he's having a ball videotaping for the very first time. Now this is the first time he's used the 
Zenith camcorder. Let's see how he makes out with it. Right, balance everything. Everything's automatic. If you change light indoors, it'll change with you. You don't have to remember to change wow. the light. So I'm recording now? Is there, is there it says story? REC on the right side. It's recording. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting grandpa now. You see REC? Uh, yep. You're recording. Is the yeah, microphone going to pick him up from back here? Probably, yeah. It's going to pick me up talking about we're it. We're talking, though. It'll pick us up. Yes. You can hold that camera all day. You never be tired. Boy, this is, this is amazing what they're coming up with. Yeah. Good sound on it, too. Say hello to yourself. Oh, hello, <laughs> self. <laughs> okay. We're in, we're in Washington, New Jersey. It's what? October? It's October 5th. This is our house in Carlton New Jer Avenue. You're probably the last time you'll see it. <laughs> That's right. Last time we're going to see it. Yeah. And uh, there's the kids. What's this guy's Godzilla? Josh, we're on TV. We're making a TV show. We can watch this later if you want to. Is this focused to itself? Yes. You don't have to change the focus. It's a little me. And here, No, sometimes when a, the subject moves too fast, yeah. it takes a second or so or a half second to, to adjust. Mm -hmm. This has got macro, so my finger can fill the whole screen. Are you Leah? Okay. Oh, this is for who? It's still recording. Well, I got a lock on this thing. Now you're and this is so well, I'm going to take this to Josh. Well, they, you know, he's eligible for the Cub Scouts. They, they already started about two weeks ago. Well, this is the, you know, that's the scarf. You might still get in on it, Josh, if you want. Do you know any of your friends at Cub Scouts? Okay. I take the prices off. <laughs> Josh knows money too. <laughs> he, was, he was going to the Sears catalog this morning. Right now, all the toy, toys he wants. You know, we already got him his Hanukkah present, but we're going to ship it to him. And this is for Leah. Oh, look. You know what that is? That, that's a Barbie doll, huh? And when we were shopping in the store, someone said, they overheard us talking about looking for our grandchildren. They said, how old is she? And we told her. And they said, well, they all love Barbie dolls. Do you like the Barbie doll? Yeah. So that's why we, do you have a Barbie doll? Well, she'd like another one. Well, there's a second Barbie doll. Like now you can inter the dog, you know? interchange the clothes. They, that's what they said. I said, I don't know. I don't know oh, what yeah, she is. loves. Me, loves that's what she said. My my daughter is five and she loves it. So, so Grandma, you go to nursery school now. Oh, you going to nursery school, Leah? This is one for each of them. Which one would you use the alphabet for you, and we'll give Josh one as well? Okay. Is this at that battery? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I just want to remember what I've got. Let me loan you what I've got, Josh. You can't keep them now. Very cool. It's amazing. You know, my mother grew up in that game. You know how sometimes people are right next to something? They never go. Right. They never go. We had time to shop. Because we always need the Barbie family. Yeah. Look at this lily. Don't let like wear a fan. Oh, it does. It's like leaking now. We got a cat and guinea pig, too. I'll have to go to the cat. Good. <laughs> my parents are like, I haven't seen that cat. I just saw Mona last seen. Sunday, but I haven't seen Dave oh. in a while. <laughs> oh, man, this way, no. Did you make your toy sports or not? No. No, you didn't have a long time. Allentown, mm -hmm. and we're driving a car back to there that we bought, but um, we're going to stay for a few days here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice car. It is a, actually, this is the one you just bought. You got yeah. what kind of guess yeah, about you're going to get going to Florida? Yeah. I bought it. That's my. Like, uh, actually, you see, you can do all these different things. With the, uh, oh, you got a brush in there, Josh. Okay. I don't know if this is for Josh or for Leah. I'm beginning to wonder. Josh what's, is, uh, <laughs> what's that? Then? Josh, Josh is the one who opened up the Barbie doll. Oh, really? Now well, he's taking out the brush. Now he's well, going to start brushing hair. Well, it was supposed to be for Leah, but they... Can... Well, he's helping Leah. Because Who's helping Leah? Right? Because I, I've, lived, I've lived in two areas. I, I've seen the past, and I know the present. Ooh, did the ring on her finger? Did that come off? I don't know if a bracelet is right, Leah. 
Oh, this is really something. And then it shows you. It's got so many things, and then you've got all these other things you can get here. All these different fashions. You go to the Lane Co. store or wherever you go shopping. You want to get the car. Here, we show you all the dresses, and you want the car. <laughs> he gets the cars. He wants the car. He gets, she gets the doll, and he wants the car. You want the car that you want a Barbie car, huh? You want a Barbie car? I'm missing. Barbie, World of Fashion by Michelle. We girls can do anything, right, Barbie? We girls can do anything. Just put that one over here. That's the idea. Now take this one from, now that's it, put it in. Take that one and put that one over there. That's it, now taking that and put that one over there. Fine. Now take and put this one over here. Oh, take, that's it. That's it. My, look at that. Wow, now take that one and put it over. Oh, God, they all fell down. We just had a bagel disaster. That's a big disaster. Oh, right. Oh, you mean like the... Uh, well, How you there, Poochie? How you doing? How you doing, eh? How you doing, eh? Hey? Well, actually, they could buy... If they were in a, you know, far, far away area, they could buy a dress. A nickel a stickle. Now, if they were to buy a dress at the Marvelite, then we would get... Here, I don't know what's what here. No cream cheese? We can live without cream cheese. Our arteries can too. I should I could have stopped. I didn't know. Okay, right now, quick take. I'll take a minute. Now we can go to the lot. We have some butter. You're buttering with butter on it, Josh? Plain like that? What do you have? You have them from Swiss cheese and this? Okay. Should I cut it in half for you? I'm going to run, I'm going to get some cream cheese and some juice yeah. and stuff. We don't have anything to drink either. Uh, yeah, we're running out. These kids go through Just fruit and juice and all that. Here, Carson. Here, we're out of gas. I was just saying, what's your name? My car's called. I get it. Look at that. Leah. Leah. This is turkey bologna, Dan. All right, I'm going to go back. You know what? Jeez, I shouldn't eat. Uh, really. Um, um, um. <laughs> I'm getting fat. Person. You know, I no. put on weight every oh, time I go out. Oh. No, butter. nothing in there. Cute. Butter. Butter. Leah. Butter. What did I do with the butter? Leah. Butter. I butter. see butter. the belly button. Oh, Leah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Leah's tape. Really? I'm going to make you. Where's the belly now? button? Show, show Grandpa your belly button. Show Grandpa your belly button. Lift it oh, up. Oh, you won't show me your belly button? Let's no. see it. Let's see it. Come on. Come on. Come on. I guess we're just proud grandparents because on the refrigerator and on the wall we saw these wonderful marks and comments that Josh was getting. So we took our camcorder and just spotted a few of them. So much for being proud grandparents. Now let's rejoin the action. Who that down there? Yeah. Is that me? This is good. This is the. the... Where did I put my back Are you reading that, Josh? together and Lee and the dog together and I was looking in there at your, your yeah those yeah those were my first ones those are good yeah wait yeah so she joined that and all this thing they they wrap and I don't know. Oh body wrapping body wrapping used to wrapping, have that here exercise so it's really easy to maintain your weight on this. I mean, people lose the weight and it's like they, 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 they have two shakes a day in place of one. Dinner and then we'll come in. Okay. Oh, we 
Yeah, your key right back. Yeah, so if you go to school, you can't leave your house. I don't drink. I don't drink. It's in here. 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 It's in here.
It would be almost cheaper for them to cut that in. Mm -hmm. They've got electric hammer. They do it in they make 20 even, minutes. They even can put a, a hole in there. Size were to get in for and, and then, of course, the top thing, you have your step. They can put a thing. You can cut that thing right out of there with a saw. I thought you had something in the contract. That they had to do it within a certain amount of time, but of course, they got to get inspected every and step of the way. You're going to cut some of the next door is like going to put a modular home next door. That's yeah. right. <laughs> have to come out. Well, we had some trees here, and we wanted to leave, and they called us back. They couldn't get their machine in, and we had to take down a bunch of trees. Oh, God. Well, look at the mud. Look at the mud, dude. Yeah. Well, that's why we had to bring in. We had to bring back. Well, you can consider this the front of the lot now, but from that road, it's the back of the lot. But that guy has here, and, and you didn't you have to sleep right in there. Right here. It was no. pretty level here, was it, Dave? Oh, it was level, yeah. We're down there. It was, the mud, up, you know, it was coming up the hill. I don't have anything with me now, dear. That's why he's thirsty. He wants to go over there. No. I haven't been using that many eggs. I'll take a dozen down with Grandma. We'll stop it. The eggs are real different, though. They're real. They were good. They were good. Yeah. It's like the yolk is real thick. Oh, that's because they're loose. Yeah. Put your hands between your legs. No. Between your legs. With your other hand. Between your legs. Right. No, no trapper. Dan, my name is Danny. Right. All right, now, now I do leave. Really. Watch out. Yo, you're in the way. You're in the way, Josh. Oh, yes, I don't want to kick you. Yeah. Give me a hand. Well, this town's very yeah, Give me a hand. Oh. All right, look out of the way. We're pretty close to it because we're about. Very good. No, I don't see you. That's the one. He said, actually, you can do anything. Pennsylvania, they can do anything. But over in New Jersey, they have to do it. Just the answer to a lot of the cost for the building. And you have to still build the future in New Jersey. <laughs> this is a hundred years from now. They'll dig it up and they'll find these artifacts. Those things will probably be defensive. Right now. Wow. Yeah. 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 Okay, we're looking at the ponds here, controlled area where the fingerlings are raised before they're set out in the brooks and streams and lakes of northern New Jersey. And this is a rather new facility here at uh, Peak West. If you look real closely in the water, you can actually see those fish. We're going to bring up the bring the lens in tight on it. Now you really get a view of those youngsters. As Dave said a little while ago down at the other ponds, they aren't very hungry. There was flu food floating on the water. And uh, they get fed very well here. Not just by the uh, visitors, but by the staffers. I've been here before. Where can I put this? When we go back down there, we'll see if we can feed them, okay? So you said something like something for apples. Well, Dad doesn't want to get them until oh, the end of the day. Oh, well, get a pumpkin, Jimmy. Go we'll get them. Well, if you want apples, let's get them. Get a pumpkin. Look out a pumpkin. Let's get them. Get some honey. I don't want to leave.
Luskin, no Luskin. Yeah, the mummy was a You're carrot You're not supposed to touch it, I don't think, Josh. Then there, there you there. go. That's what? what belongs in there. Yeah, that's in there. Just to look, okay? That's like a snowman, isn't it? Yeah. It's a pumpkin man. Yeah, one of the glasses. <laughs> Let him oh, hear it. I don't think we're supposed to be touching him like that, Josh. No, I wouldn't touch it. Larison's Turkey Farm. This is where Trudy used to bring home a carcass of a turkey every Sunday night or so, and we used to tear into that carcass and make turkey salad. And <laughs> the way we used to... a view on center screen of uh, Larison's Turkey Farm, where Trudy used to take care of the patrons, who used to wait in lengthy lines, especially on the turkiest day of the year, Thanksgiving. Christmas. And Christmas. New Year's. And New Year's. Sundays. Sundays were Christmas. Wasn't. You can get a sign like that. Get a little computer to program. Why are you selling the little Minolta for that's 100% um, automatic, Richard? Which? Ticket. How little? I see you have one here. Is this it? How little or how automatic? The, the, the one is 100% automatic. It's, um... they, got, huh? they got six different models. I bought one for Mark. And his birthday was in January and he wanted a suit. I finally reached I said, I don't think you need the suit. Why don't I, what do you want? He said, well, I want a camera. <laughs> I went out there and bought him one and then he said, oh, I want a better one. I said, I'll keep it for myself. And <laughs> came with him on sale. That's There's a, a, um... Maybe I shouldn't say in front of you. help you. <laughs> so he knows. Oh, oh. Kmart. When he wants a camera, he goes to Kmart. That's <laughs> <laughs> not true. I think you bought. Yeah, that one was a, and then he didn't like it. I said, I'll keep it. I'll give you the money. I'll keep it for myself. I always wanted a little camera like that. You know, I got I my own. I do. I have it out in the car. Did you see? He's on motor. He hadn't got it. Motor, yes. So. Well, I said to him that, and then Sonia from this store walked in. I said, son, you got a lot of space to back in your store. You want to switch stores with me? She said, where do I get out of it? I said, well, you get cheaper rent. <laughs> Anything about why you're able to proceed it without Why are you going to call at 3.30 in the morning? I'm going to call for that. Well, that's how I got your other light bulb. It's still there. It's getting flat, but it won't come off the floor. That's why the flat thing's in here. Okay. Okay. He's doing everything special for you and you don't like him. Obviously, nephew Dick Nippon is quite a photographer. A lot of artistic talent in that family, I must say, and uh, I think this is an excellent picture. You're only seeing part of it here, but it's a good part, and it's, it was uh, fun to look at these pictures. Another one of Dick's photographic masterpieces. From, Ari? The flower store. Oh boy. Is that where you were? There's another one. No. Huh? On the floor. Uh, are you dating? Are your children sitting? Once in a while. Oh. Hi, are you today, Emily? Hi, thank you. What you doing? I'm getting made a fish. Oh, you're getting fish. I'm getting some fishies. Both of them have been together for 10 years. Really? I didn't know your mother was that old. Got number one. 
Were these out one yeah. stick? The hand looks like it's uh, Oh, yeah, because there's only two in here. Self-portrait of Dick with a flow, 7-12-86. And what's that? Swift looking for SMT. Oh. What a... This is the Arnold Kleiner Homestead, former Arnold Kleiner Homestead, now owned by Dick Nippon, whom we just visited at his picture and words. And this is where we used to have our luncheonette, right in there. And look at the cars parked here. This is for school. That's oh, for school. They're picking up their children, I guess. And now oh, we're coming to starting the road already. Sid yeah. Kleiner's House of Guitars. Oh, wow, look at that sign, House of Guitars. New, uh, sign well. Wow, oh, this David sign is still out here. Our son David designed and Gibson painted this sign. 45% off. Today only. Got a new front door. Got a new front door? Yeah, that was not. Didn't we yet? We only had one uh, pane of glass no, in there. Was, it was like the one upstairs. The screen door is off, too. He's that used to be all grass there, just high grass. Ah, oh, oh, we've got the PV franchise, got that all taken care of. It's the new to paint it. You have to be between them from one to the other. This is a bit of a nostalgia for us. We're visiting our old store that we operated for about 18 years. So much is the same and yet so much is different. The philosopher said you can't go back. We did and it was nice. This is the room that I used to work in. This was my workshop. Some of the cabinets are still in there that I install on the wall. This is the main display room. Lots of guitars, amplifiers, mandolins, banjos, you name it. And here's where I used to work so hard. Yeah, he's asked about you, Dave. That's great. Dave on the dirt on the floor. And how, yeah, well, we know how you're yeah. doing. You're looking good, as I said. Carpeting. And here you are in living color and sound. Well, just like the old days, talk, right? Talk on, uh, when you have... Uh, <laughs> well, you don't have any audience. Impromptu. Uh, yeah, well, you weren't, pre here. you weren't prepared for this. No, I didn't bring my speech with me. Well, next time I'm going to bring cue cards. I'm going to hold them up here and say, having a nice time, wish you were here. In fact, uh, Dad is uh, in Allentown, Pennsylvania right now. He'll be leaving for Florida t tomorrow morning. So he never got out as far as California. Though. This is going to have to suffice because we're not going to be able to bring him out here. We had him out uh, to uh, Washington, New Jersey yesterday, and that's as far as he got. The gentleman whose face appears on the screen right now was, for many years, one of our regular teachers at the House of Guitars. And here we are going into the 11th year since we sold the place, and Dave Nagy is still teaching at our former studio. That's very interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Still using the same books that I used to use. <laughs> better, never found anything better. Yeah, I'm going to look around before I order new ones for. 87. But well, I gotta think about getting some books pretty soon. It's getting there though. Well, I wanted, I want to set the shop up at Because he didn't have a cell phone. $30,000. I want to say give. Yeah, we'll give you something. I only want to cost thirty because we sold that. Huh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> he, he takes movies of everything to see a video. Alright. Well, we just stopped and we're off for a short visit to New Jersey and we had to come see. So I'll make a little flower bed this and a railroad all, yeah. pie and a little flower bed. I had some flowers and stuff in but it was always a... Notice how the young student wends his or her way up the driveway, coming in to take a guitar lesson, obviously. Take care. Yeah, I'm going to figure the stair steps are following these steps. Oh. And then... 
that's the view we would get from our living room or from our front porch or front steps. And that used to be a barn that was occupied by Joe Jacobs, a cattle dealer. And over to the right was the butcher shop where he used to sell meat and off and on rented it out to other people. I spent many an hour in the barn that appears at left screen, cleaning manure, milking cows, and feeding the animals. Little flower beds and plants stuck in one big one on top. There's the corn crib at the center screen right now in the wagon shed. Used to keep some old wagons in there and store some corn in there that uh, grew out in the fields that are long since overgrown. I see that and I thought, did you have any white lava? Took this video because I couldn't get over the fact that the surrounding land has become so overgrown. We used to have practically a wide open field around the House of Guitars. Today it's a veritable northern jungle. Incredible what's happened. There's the house. We lived upstairs and the business still remains downstairs. Now Don Miller, former student, is the owner of the business. It has an R on it because it was George Ross who owned it. There's another view of that wagon shed and corn crib that Joe Jacobs used to use, and we used to help him fill it up with corn. Behind the house, it looks like a forest that used to be predominantly open field, and then there was a section of forest land. Now the forest comes just about down to the house. Total change from when we lived there over 10 years ago. And this was the warehouse, garage area that we constructed just before selling the place. Just about got everything the way we wanted it and a buyer came along. Had a small heating unit in the back. I don't see it there now. And used to keep the storage area fairly warm when I had to work in there on a cold day. The light wasn't very good, but we wanted to have Mom on here, so we went ahead and videotaped anyhow. Like two cents plane or three cents plane? This, this leg of mine is killing me, and I've got such pain on it. Well, you're walking pretty good, Mom. That's, that's, that's a good thing. You're doing very well. Because I'm fighting that. That's right, because you're a strong fighter. You're a real fighter. Compared to the way she was, she's doing very well, that's right. Every day and every way I get better and better, right? Is that what you're going to eat? I'm going to have some turkey, <laughs> right? Yeah, oh, some turkey. Honeymoon salad, let us alone without dressing. Yeah. That's honeymoon salad. You want to have some honeymoon salad? That's let us alone without dressing. Yeah, let us without dressing. Meantime, he's taking a picture of me. I'm the, I'm the I'm not paying any attention. That's right. You just keep paying You know, my sister says, she said, when people look at these 50 years from now, they're going to think all we ever did was eat and have dirty dishes That's on the right. table. That's it. He said, people are never going to think we did anything but eat. They're going to say, gee, that generation in 1986, they were the biggest pressers yeah, ever. Else eat, huh? That's right. All right, well, I guess I'm going to get down here and uh, and I'm going to uh, enjoy a delicious salad. It might not jive with his scale. And then it depends on what kind of clothes you have on, too. I still say whenever I gain weight, I it's think, their scale. I think I need an excuse me. I need a good shit. And I'll be all right. I'll lose the weight. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I lose the weight. Well, if you have some of this wheat, John, Mom. You already had some. If you have a little bit more, I can yeah. guarantee you that'll that, help you. that, that you can be whatever good. weight you want to be tomorrow morning. Yeah. That's all you have to do is just a little. It all takes a little wheat germ. You want me when I'm eating too? A little later on, I'll get hungry. When I get hungry, we got nice apples and we got a banana mm -hmm. or two. We bought some bananas today. And I got. Oh yeah, they get they those that can't have cake get a banana. 
Is that what they get? Because diabetics. Well, banana is a very healthy fruit. Yeah. Most people can eat banana. Well, you can have the, the cake. I can have the cake or a banana. Yeah, you can have either one. You're not diabetic anymore? No. I was on the borderline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't diabetic. So we had dinner upstairs for a Friday night for the holiday? Yeah, I went up there. Yeah, uh, Jeffrey helped me upstairs. I couldn't yell walk. He will let me walk unless he stands behind me. Well, that's protection. I think your father uses his a lot, doesn't he? He uses it all the time. Does he lose weight? No. It's not to lose weight. My father never has to lose weight. Uh-huh, my father never has to lose weight, but I do. And it was evening, and it was morning, and it was the next day, probably our last day to spend in the West Orange area. We're going to be moving on to Allentown and then on to Naples, Florida. But before we move on, we'd like to look at some disc jockey equipment that is offered for sale at Rondo Music on Route 22. So that seems to be what's coming up this morning. Let's tune in and listen. Anyway, and it's October the 7th, 1986. Well, now, here's where the fun really begins. We decided to stop and buy some delectable edibles at Tabachnik's in uh, Vox Hall, New Jersey. Something to take for the kids and the grandchildren and for the mother-in-law. And lo and behold, the staffers at Tabachnik's became very much entranced with our video camera. So much so that we ended up back in the soup manufacturing facility, which is off limits, and when one of the Tabachnik's management found out we were back there, he raised quite a stink about it, but we made sure we escaped with the videotape before it was confiscated. I didn't know what he was going to do, but we, we got out of there pretty quickly anyhow, so here's a bit of that action as it unfolded on that brisk October day. Okay. 
Oh, isn't that nice? Love is really grand. It must be the pickles here that do that to you. Yeah, that, that must make a difference. Soups in Naples. Yeah, I know. Now we are visiting the Tabachnik soup plant where thousands of gallons of soup are made every day, and as you can see, they're made from fresh ingredients. And we watched quite uh, interestingly in fascinated fashion as we saw the actual stirring process going on, which you'll be seeing momentarily. We didn't have any guide to take us through these soup kitchens, but uh, we could discern from what we were seeing pretty much what was going on. It seems that a lot of their soups are frozen. You will find them in the frozen food section of many of the major supermarkets. The place seemed to be fairly clean. Not a big staff, but everybody working hard or hardly working. There's the Tabachnik logo. There are the cases and cases of soup already processed, ready for shipment to the distributors. Gentleman was working a packing machine. And here we have a first-hand look at how the actual stirring process is done by beaters that are spinning slowly in the gigantic vats. I don't know how many tens of gallons of soup are in each one of these gigantic vats, and there were several vats in operation. We remind you again that this is really not for public viewing. I can imagine there are health laws that would preclude people like us from getting this close to the food. And right here, believe me, I'm very close with a camcorder. Well, kind of abruptly, our visit to the soup kitchens of Tabachniks comes to a close. And it was very timely because management was on the way in saying, what are you doing in here? So we made a very quick exit and we begin now to wend our way back to beautiful downtown West Oak. And I guess that completes our look at the gas lamps of the Maplewood, New Jersey area. We have our time perspective somewhat distorted because it turns out this is our next to last day up north. And we are to go out to Washington, New Jersey. And we made a promise to take Leah and Josh out to dinner, which we did, and we'll perhaps be seeing some of that a little bit later. And we're also going to be grandchildren sitting so that Mona and Dave can go to an Herbalife gathering down in the more easterly area of New Jersey. But the first thing we saw when we arrived at 42 Carlton Avenue in Washington, New Jersey, was Fanny. As usual, she was loose, broke out of the house. A real Houdini. Double or triple what it is now. Uh, our people average between 1,000 and 1,500 per month. 
and you know they don't have to disturb what you're already doing. Um, you know, if you're already working a full-time job, uh, you just kind of set your own hours. And um, you know, for the amount of work, it's that good? really good income. Does it taste different than what you mm. buy in the? Um, you know, with the little man on it. Mm -hmm. Mm, it is good. And usually it's good? Joy Va. It's a commercial brand, but this is both. <laughs> And you can you can really predict the results. <laughs> That's right. You will get results, not good ones. Did she yeah. hear of Herbalife? I say about if you uh, want to take the time to know about it. Mom, what your name right here? It says parents. My parents are. This doesn't write too well. You want me to use a pen? No. No. Well, it's kind of hard because I'll just put Moon and Dave. Mona. So what kind of birthday presents did you get, Mom? Oh, well, my mother, I had a feeling she was going to do this. She went to, um, the... This when were you born? Uh, you mean what day? Stuff or what month? Or what year? What year? All right, you were, you are going to be, you were just turned seven, didn't you? So that was 19... Uh, 81... 80, uh, 1979. You were born in 1979, Josh. My mother told me we're looking, you know, I like that. Well, that's pretty. You're I know how much it costs because I looked at it. <laughs> she, she, she showed me. She said, okay, I'll buy Herbalife. She says, I want to get on Herbalife. She says, but you have to sit here and look at all these things I need. I said, okay. I said, I love jewelry. It's no problem. Little girl is going to be made Dave. Or you should use her, the little backpack I gave her to carry all her stuff. Just say hello. Just say hello. Just say hello. Just say hello. Do you the other way? Yeah. Sure. We had her wife on messages. Oh, that's why right. you were talking. Oh, we had this <laughs> This is better than the Joya home. Yeah. Ah, oh, you ain't got that. Try to take the sticker, take the thing off the back. Oh, right. Um, Mr. T. Mr. T. All right, they go. Put that on the front. Uh, get an MP license plate and put it in the front. We got a license plate that says sexy grandpa. Full time job. It was in my envelope. It's in the envelope? Yeah. This is a plastic thing. Don't take it from behind. This is a plastic thing. It's so funny. You know about the opportunity. There's no obligation. That's good, isn't it? We don't sell door to door or anything like that. And, you know, we'll explain exactly how the business works. It's a very easy business. Uh, okay. Well, oh, that's a yeah, what you thing. do is, uh, you know, oh, yeah. you know, have ways of getting other people on product. You want to go out somewhere to eat? What would you rather have? Meatball sandwich, pizza? Meatball sandwich. You like meatball sandwich? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So you have to watch carefully. But he's really walking his horse. Now, what the two of you should do, I don't know if I can get a light here. It might be. Off the gate! Stop the gate! Stop going. Stop the gate! You don't want to throw things in the water because that is littering. Did you get out of the cage, Josh? No! Are you really stuck in there? I don't know how we're going to get you out. Josh, how'd you get in? I didn't do it. Gotcha! 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 Can you climb down from there? How about Josh? What do you have to do here? Josh! 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 Well, I guess we have to leave Josh here. Well, we'll go out to dinner and we'll figure out a way to get him out. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. 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 You got it. We'll go for a walk. We need exercise. We've been sitting in the car all day. Nice to see you. Nice to I see you, sir. in the car tomorrow. No, nice I think to I see you. I call your sister to... Want it? Want it? No. Oh, my God. I have to back up. Yeah. Well, that's what the fuck is down. Otherwise, you walk down. Okay, she wants mushrooms and onions. Yeah, I don't know what I want. Right, uh, let's see. I'm going to let's find out. We have to find out. You want a meatball sandwich? One meatball sandwich? I don't know what I have. I don't know. I don't know what they have either. There's only a... That's a small cone, huh? That's a big small one.
this is an excellent lesson in how grandparents can really spoil a grandchild, but they only do it for a couple of days, so it's not permanent, it's just a temporary passing thing. <laughs> time. What's the time? time? Ten to eight. We have to get you home and in bed in ten mm -hmm. minutes. Huh? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you for him to pile that whole sandwich down. That's a man size sandwich. Did that look like fun? Well, it sure was fun. But we've now commuted back to West Orange, had a good night's sleep, got up the next morning, and there was faithful Margaret taking care of Mom, making her a good, healthy breakfast. And I came in as a kibitzer and heckler. Well, you'll hear it, I guess. I'm telling you, I said to Trudy, there's something that smells like pancakes. I said, man, does it smell good up there. Well, we're not leaving right away. I don't know if we're going to eat here or not, because we're, uh, we're going to have to do a little shopping before we go back to uh, Naples. Can I come in here and still holler at me? Don't make fun. I don't like to be funny. <laughs> You got angry at me. I didn't say I'm a big girl now, but I indicated that. I wouldn't ask you anymore. <laughs> I'm not going to be here anymore. <laughs> she feels better. Yeah, I feel better. What were you watching last night? I've gone um, Last Frontier with uh, Joe, uh, Linda Evans. Oh, 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 that was supposed to be a good movie. It was good. I saw it Sunday night at night, and I, I couldn't watch it. I like that Linda Evans. No, she's a sweet lady. <laughs> Yeah, sweet lady. She has to because if she wasn't, I wouldn't be here with her. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You can't tell her well, that you're, you should never make anything anymore. Mark does it also. Mark he cooks himself. Oh, if he's there and we're having dinner, I'll ask him if he wants to eat with us. He checks over the menu. <laughs> eat ice cream and then all of a sudden he decides he's got like ice cream. We get sick five minutes of the food like that. Oh, well, he's evidently okay. So, so uh, we finished his Sunday. And then Leah gets halfway down. She sits there like a little dog. Well, we said our goodbyes in West Orange, and now it's time to say our goodbyes in Washington, New Jersey. Here we are going to pick up Leah at her day school, or I guess you call it pre-kindergarten, or whatever it is, we're going to pick her up. Grandpa's taking pictures of you. Hi, Leah. Oh, is that my little pizza eater over there? Not just pizza, right, Leah? What do you eat besides pizza? Ice cream. Oh, did you like that ice cream? Was that good? That was delicious. I even had a little sample of it. For lunch today, you ate all your sandwich? That's good. You didn't eat your apple?
This was the produce stand we had visited a couple of days ago, but well, we wanted to pick up some apples to take back to Florida. And that was one of the smartest things we did. We picked up these apples, two and a half dollars a basket, brought them down to Naples, and in about a week and a half, two weeks, we managed to eat every one of them, and there wasn't a bad one in the barrel, or in the basket, or in the bag. They were absolutely delicious. Look at the size of that thing. Isn't that something? Woo! Who's behind that pumpkin? Who's up behind that pumpkin? Are you playing hide and go seek or hide and go peek? Wait, what? <laughs> we apologize for the problem we're having with our soundtrack, but uh, we're not getting good audio there for some reason, and we're going to have to check into that, but uh, nothing much we can do about it at this point.